I remember standing up for the first time. Dane looked at me and said, I, I can't see. We met on one of these gay apps like a few years ago, but we just tell people we met on Facebook. We met uh, on Grindr. <laughs> we just stayed up for a ages just talking. We were just kind of, I guess, besotted since day one, really. <laughs> It was bank holiday. I was with Dane and a bunch of our mates in Brighton. As summer was starting, the atmosphere was good, really good. We were having a great time. I guess it was probably about three o'clock. We were at the bar and we just got this look from um, this couple of guys from across the dance floor area. It takes a lot to make me feel uncomfortable, but it was just such a weird look that they gave us. At this point, they just started like shouting, gay boy, and they said, oh, is that your boyfriend? Dane realized and I told him the best thing that we need to do is get out of this club into a taxi the quickest way possible. No one was about. All of a sudden, I hear running behind us. I could feel there's no way we were gonna outrun them. They just grabbed us from behind and just chucked us, chucked us to the floor. We were both on the ground. I was laying on the pavement and all I could see was James, but then the next thing I saw was just a shoe coming to my face. That just knocks me completely unconscious. Every time I tried, like, crawl closer to Dame, he was literally dragging me along the pavement. One of the boys started kicking Dane's face, like, really, really rapidly. You know, shouting, like, gay boys. A taxi driver drove past, and I think he called the police straight away. I remember standing up for the first time, and Dane looked at me and said, I can't see. And it's when, when Dane said to me that he can't see, and I thought, OK, this is bad. My eye socket was completely shattered. I had hemorrhages in both my eyes. I had fractures on my cheeks. My eyes were completely red. My tooth was chipped, and my nose was broken as well at the top. I remember being in hospital, and I kept asking them, am I going to be able to see again? Am I going to be able to see again? And they said, we can't tell you, because everything's so swollen, and they couldn't even opened my eyes because it was just out here. We're there for each other um, and that kind of really proved it to me how strong our relationship is. I'm a very resilient person and that's made me kind of want to be who I am even more so. It's changed the whole, it's just changed to how I, to how I was before. And it's sad because I remember how we were before it happened. And I look at us now. And it's upsetting because it's them who made this happen. No, I wouldn't forgive them. No, like playing like, and bluntly, no, I wouldn't. I couldn't ever. Like, it might get easier to accept it, but I wouldn't ever, like, forgive them or forget what happened. Obviously, it will stay with me, and I'm sure it will stay like, with them for, obviously, the rest of their life.